why the Cat Butler franchise? Uh, well, it's, first of all, the love of cats. That's a, a natural thing that you would want to do. I was working for corporates and all the rest of it. And I, it just wasn't for me anymore. I'd done it for 30 years and I got a bit tired with it. Ultimately, my love of cats is already there. We have a couple of cats ourselves. And another thing that struck me was the fact that, of course, I have a young son and I want to be able to be here for him. And working as a cat butler meant that I could actually work within my local community, provide a service that everybody really, really values, and, and potentially create a, a nice family business that we can all share in as an experience. It's so good to see him finally happy and proud of what he's doing. He's very busy and yeah. uh, it's finally, yeah. he finally scored in is, life. Yeah. <laughs> Occasionally I'm asked about sort of the experience that you need to become a cat butler and the truth is strictly speaking you don't but in my opinion you really do have to have a passion for cats and you have to have owned cats uh, and you know grown up with them in your family that type of thing because it helps you to understand the sort of behaviors you may well come across and you're going to be dealing with a lot of different types of cats out there you'll have you know very very appreciative and needy ragdoll cats very vocal siamese cats lots of moggies all over the place you're going to have cats that are timid and shy but then you'll equally get those ones who are greeting you right uh, right at your feet when you walk in the door and all they want to have is cuddles and snuggles all day we found that uh, there's a great deal of uh, support available for new franchisees when they come on board. Sandra is absolutely brilliant when it comes to the marketing aspects of it and she covers all that with you. So there's the, the, the Google presence. She, she gives you a lot of encouragement when you're actually starting off uh, on Facebook. Physical marketing materials down to flyer drops, um, logos for the car. And she's always there on the end of the phone, if not email, to, to, to give you advice. And I always felt that uh, I'm not alone in this. Yes, it's my business, but I always knew that I had the backup that I think is very necessary for people who are entering into the world of sort of like being your own boss. Besides actually our love of cats, another reason why we chose to uh, go into the Cat Butler was because it was a very affordable franchise opportunity that we um, clearly we felt would be ideal for us. We've also found that the fees are in line with what you'd expect as a franchise and are extremely competitive. Over and above that, she's very clear about what it's used for and a significant proportion goes right back into the business and is a great bonus to us because it goes into marketing uh, drives and, and so forth and, and we can't ask fairer than that. Every time we picked her up in the category she was really really unhappy and so we looked for alternatives and we found the cat butler. Seeing the company grow and knowing that more and more people are benefiting from the service has been you know really great to see. It's not just a business, they are people that genuinely care about the animals and care about you as a customer and yeah to watch the company grow like that and flourish has been fantastic and it's great to be part of that. She needed some really dedicated care by the cat butler when we were away in terms of, of medications in general looking after her and they did an absolutely superb job on that we, we, we just think it was fantastic what they did and that gave us so much comfort and reassurance when we were away um, because we couldn't have expected friends or family to look after her in the way that we expected the Cat Butler to. So again, Cat Butler is, is providing a, a, not just a, a valuable service, but a really necessary service as well. It's just fantastic to know that we have that relationship above and beyond just a business relationship. They're an extension of carers for the cat, but also an extension of the family as well, because someone comes into your house, you have to trust them implicitly. Yeah, it's just great to build those friendships and relationships through cats, which is fab. We're really pleased to know that the, the cat butler is, is expanding um, further in the country because we've used it in the St Albans area, but we've had lots of friends and family in different parts of the country who've asked about the cat butler when we've talked about it. Um, so the fact that it's now expanding is fantastic. So hopefully some of our friends and family one day will be able to use the cat mother.
we're growing, the customer base is getting bigger. I'm starting to get inquiries about which are driven by recommendations from existing customers, and that's always nice. And it's not necessarily all about the peak season, so your Christmases, your Easter's, your half terms, and all the rest of it. It's now actually kind of like people just because they're going away for a wedding or they're going away for a business or, or whatever. So it's, it's becoming a viable proposition all around. In future, I see myself bringing on more and more self-employed people to help me with these and ultimately get to where Sandra, the founder, is where she's got about 10, 11, 12 people working um, for her on a self-employed basis. So if you like what you've heard and you're interested, please give Sandra a quick call. Remember, cats are happier at home.